Uh, welcome to my podcast. Uh, I'm on the way up the, mount, up the mountain today again. Uh, today I'm walking home pretty much right out of town. Uh, we got quite a bit of snow last night. Still coming down a little bit right now, but looks like it's going to clear. I can see the moon pretty good. So, Anyways, I'm hoping it breaks. I'm hoping some deer have moved down uh, right here on the face and that I can find something good to show you. So... Well, uh, I went out the other day and didn't see anything, so I didn't even didn't even do a podcast or webcast on that because it was pretty bad. But hoping to have a little more luck this morning. Uh, there's only two days today and tomorrow left in the hunt, and I have a feeling today could be my last day. I don't know; it just depends on what I see. But hoping to see something, something good. Whew. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm 
made my decision. I'm going to go down the ridge and set up. Uh, the last I seen him, he was walking, feeding real slow towards this way. So hopefully I can set up in a good spot. That narrow heavy buck, he, he just started coming down the mountain. It was funny. I mean, he was just going fast, going from doe to doe to doe. I guess just looking for the the one that's hot. He'd run every every group of does had some bucks. He'd just push them bucks right out of there. He'd just check every doe and move on. But anyway, another guy, there was another guy, the buck come down here low. There's other people down here. And, uh... Another guy spooked them and they, they went the opposite direction from me, but I've seen a big four by three over here, so I'm gonna go over there. There's another guy over here, but I'm gonna go over here and just snoop around until dark. I probably got about an hour or so. But it's been a good day, fun day. I had a good time today. Um, I hate seeing these other guys, but as you get down here where you're within a half mile or you know, or so of the road, that's where the people come. So Tomorrow I'm probably going to go right back all the way to that top again and maybe get lucky. I'll probably go down the back side tomorrow and make a, make a mega walk out of it, try and turn up something. All right, let's go down here and see if we can find that 3x4. Uh, all right, well, I was the, the first one here in the parking lot and the last to leave. But still, I have no big buck. I did. I had a good day, though. It was a good day to be out. Uh, fresh snow. Ah, it was fun, you know. It was deep snow. I mean, there was places where, oh, when I went up the backside of that one ridge, uh, trying to get up on that buck I shot at, that snow was, jeez, oh, up, up. I mean, it was real close to waist deep. I mean, I, it was kicking my butt. I had to get back up and on the ridge and on the south face and slow, but, you know, it was a good day, you know, I got to shoot at a buck, he was no giant, but that was fun, um, I had some, had some oak, uh, limbs right in front of me, which, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think my arrow hit any of them, but it's possible, but I missed him, I missed the buck, so, anyway, and then I had a good time chasing that, uh, that heavy buck. He wasn't very wide, really not even that big, but he was heavy and he was definitely the king of the mountain because I watched him go past a lot of different groups of does. He checked every doe in the group and then he'd move on. And he covered a lot of ground. I mean, I first spotted him clear up on the top of the mountain and I left him almost down by the houses. So, I mean, well, he was almost to the houses when that other kid uh, bumped him and sent him the other way. So. But overall, it was a good day. Um, I, I'm planning, at this point, I'm planning on coming back up tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day, and ah, today was a good enough day that I think I can do it another day. So anyway, that's it. I have to put some work on hold and come tomorrow, have a good time. I like it. So anyway, I'm out of here. Alrighty, <clears throat> it's the final day of the extended archery bow hunt here in Utah for bucks. And it's my final day of the 2010 season, so hopefully I have good luck, but man, I'm I'm guessing I'm gonna be not getting a deer. But anyway, I left an extra half hour early today, so started walking about an hour and a half. 
uh, before light. Um, I'm going to try and get way, way, way up on the top of this mountain and just try and cover a lot of ground today. So, just have a good time with it. So let's see what we can find. Well, it's been a pretty good day today. Uh, so far, but boy, them deer are sure hunkered down. It's so cold this morning. Um, I think uh, my weather thing was saying that it, it was, uh, with wind chill, it was, felt like it was about two below. So, you know, them deer, they were just hunkered down. Now the sun's coming up, or the sun is up. It's about midday now. They're starting to get up to feed. Uh, I seen that one buck earlier. I probably should have should have went down and tried to get on him, but there were other people coming up behind me, a group of four guys coming up behind me, and they seen him too, and so I thought, well, I'll let them go ahead and, and chase him around. I, I'll just keep coming up the top here. So I'm on top of the mountain now, just having some, some lunch. All right, I'm on my way off the mountain now. It's, have somewhere I gotta be, but... You know, I always get a kick out of the biologists and other people who say, oh, deer and elk don't eat the same thing. Baloney. I'm going to show you right here. That there's sagebrush, and it's been eaten down to them elk. They get in here, and they dig it up. They dig up a sagebush, and they just eat the sucker all the way down to, right down almost to the dirt, you know, and, uh, Anyway, so it's BS that uh, elk and deer don't compete for food. You know that this this bush is right here where the deer live, and them elk move in. That's just one one bush. One elk most likely ate that sucker, or you know they they eat they eat a lot of the of the growth off of it. You know, and so them elk. Uh, in my opinion, every elk is displacing probably about three or four deer. So I think that's one of the reasons our deer herd suffers. So we have a, not, you know, not way too many elk, but maybe a few more than we need. All right, that does it for uh, for this hunt and this webcast, podcast. I uh, had a pretty good day. Uh, yesterday was really good, too. Seen some bucks. Uh, today wasn't as good. They were pretty hunkered down all day. And then there's a lot of people in here, and them deer are getting a lot of pressure, and they just get in the real thick oak, and then they just run circles around people. They think they probably know better than to come out in the open, and the ones who do die. So, <laughs> But it's funny how people hunt up here. Uh, you know, just a lot of guys that, you know, there will be four or five, six guys in a group. They find a buck, and then they just surround it and just collapse in on them and hope, you know, hopes that he comes by someone and, you know, that, uh, that's probably a much more effective way to hunt them than what I, than what I like to do, uh, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I like doing it alone and no radios and just, of course, that's part of what I like about hunting is it's quiet and, you know, a one-on-one -on -one challenge, so. Anyway, but that does it. Uh, that does it for my whole hunting year. I'm done. So hopefully uh, here in a few weeks I can get out and videotape some bucks in, you know, Wyoming or here in Utah or Colorado or something and, and do a, a webcast on that. So anyway, all right. Over and out.